they allow swatches, you can always... Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Christine. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my tips and tricks for always finding your foundation shade, whether it's from a place like Sephora or if you're buying foundations from like Target. So if you're interested, first make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and the little notification bell and let's go ahead and get started with the video. Tip number one that I have is to make sure you know your undertone. One easy way to find that is to go in a store where you can swatch. My favorite place to go is Sephora just because they have so many different foundations to choose from so you can always find your shade. I will usually grab a couple colors, especially when you have a couple shades swatched in your face, it's much easier for you to tell what undertone each shade is. I swatched three different foundation shades on my face to show you guys like how to compare the different undertones. So the first shade that I swatched was this Catrice HD foundation and this one is in the color 38 Honey Beige. As you can see, as I swatch it, you can't really tell what the undertone is. It just kind of looks like yellowish. But this one actually has a neutral pink undertone. It looks really close to my skin tone. But once I swatch the other colors, you can see more clearly what the undertone of that color is. I really like that Country's foundation. I actually talked about it in my five best and worst foundations. So if you haven't seen that video yet, I would highly recommend checking it out. The next foundation that I swatched was this Giorgio Armani Maestro foundation. This is in the shade 4.5. Compared to the Catrice, you can see it pulls a little bit more of a neutral undertone. Obviously, it is way too light for my skin tone, but I, we're just comparing like undertones here. The Maestro is definitely a little bit more neutral tone. You can't tell if it's really yellow or pink so that's how you know if it's more of a like neutral undertone. The next foundation that I swatched on my face is the BB Cream Bounce Foundation. This one is in the shade 3.5. Swatch next to the three you can see that this one pulls a heavy yellow undertone and for me I prefer having like a yellow olive undertone in all my foundation products. You can really see the undertones. The Catrice you almost can't really tell if it's like pink or yellow. But once you see it compared next to the BB cream, you can tell that there definitely is a little bit more pink in there. So that one I would just categorize as more of a like neutral pink undertone. My show, you can see, is more neutral than the other two. And then the BB cream just pulls really, really yellow. So I prefer having a yellow olive undertone in all of my foundations, but... If you are around my skin tone, we usually are more of a like olive yellow undertone. And then there's a little clip of me applying the BB cream all over my face. You can see at first it looks really, really yellow, but once I blend it in with the rest of my skin, it really matches well with my neck. A lot of these foundations too, when you swatch it, it's obviously a lot more concentrated on your face. And when you blend it out, it's gonna be more natural looking. So it's not gonna look quite so yellow or pink. So you are much lighter than I am. You might even be more of a like pink neutral skin. Skin tone so I would just kind of play around with it and swatch lots of foundations on your face to kind of decide what type of like undertones that you prefer for your skin tip number two that I have is to find your correct shade you want to swatch three different colors you want to do one that is what you think is your skin tone one that is lighter and one that is one shade deeper and that way you can compare all three and see which one matches you best and another way that you can find out is to kind of blend it along your cheek and you want to find the one that best disappears into your skin. So as you can see with the BB foundation, as I kind of buff it in with the brush, it really sinks into the skin and kind of disappears. And so that is like the perfect shade for me. Obviously in the summer, you're gonna be a deeper skin tone than that. And then vice versa in the winter. So you wanna find a shade that matches your undertone and disappears when you blend it out into the skin. Next thing you would do is to either, if you feel comfortable, I would actually purchase it from Sephora. But if you don't feel comfortable purchasing a high-end foundation, I would just go ahead and grab a sample of it and then just bring this little sample with you the next time you go foundation shopping. When I go to a place like Target and I want to buy foundations there, I would bring my foundation with me to the drugstore and that way when you hold it side by side with the other shades, you can clearly see all the different undertones compared to each other and it's much easier to tell what foundation you are. You guys know I'm a big drugstore junkie so I actually know exactly what shade I am in my Maybelline Fit Me foundation. I'm always in the shade 220. Every time I go to the drugstore and I want to buy a drugstore foundation I will go ahead and go to the Maybelline section, grab the Fit Me 220 because I know that has my perfect undertone shade and all that and I will compare it with any other foundations that I want to buy and I'll hold it next to my Fit Me and compare it side by side and see what what foundations have pinker undertones and which colors have more of a like yellow undertone. I want to find one that best matches my Maybelline foundation in my shade and that way I know that that foundation when I go home and try it on it's going to match me perfectly. So see how this one's like yellow and way too light? Mm -hmm. This one's like pinky so it has pink tones so it'll be way too pink for me. Oh yeah, see that's good. This one 
looks so yellow and this one actually looks pink next to this you're like okay that's very similar so this is a good one and you can also see sometimes they have an undertone so I have like warm undertones so I want to make sure I'm getting things that are warm the same thing is true if you have a foundation from Sephora that you purchase whenever I go to the drugstore and I know I'm gonna be purchasing a foundation I would just pack that foundation with me like say if I had the BB cream foundation or the Giorgio Armani I would just put it in my purse and then when I go to Target I would take it out and compare it to all the other foundations and in that same method that I described earlier find my shade through that see now you can see next to it looks way too pinky but like if you're just looking at it by itself you would never be able to pick anything so I always just put it side by side Hi. this color here is a little bit too beigey it has a slight hint of pink whereas this one is really really yellow I prefer yellow over pink so I would probably just reach for this one this is 475 I think that's the actual color I have this one's too yellow although now this one looks too pink this one looks like it would be a good medium like a good mix between the two i don't know this one's hard i would say in this case i would just do this one yellow it's much easier if like you purchase a drugstore foundation and you know that shade is perfect for you. That way the next time you go to the drugstore you can just go over to grab that same one and then use that to compare. That is all the tips that I have. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure you give the video a thumbs up. Let me know down in the comments what you'd like to see next. Make sure you watch my foundation video if you haven't already and I have a couple more videos here as well. Be sure to check those out before you go. And thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!